Uh oh, Dr. Cooley, I think you're on mute. Okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Well, welcome to It's Your Life. I'm your host, Dr. James J.C. Cooley, and I tell you, we got an absolutely fantastic show coming your way today. We're going to talk about something that we haven't talked about on the show that I know, especially if you're a homeowner, that's so important that you have an understanding and understand that there's a lot of fraud out there. People are out there trying to take, not only are they trying to take all your money, they'll take your house. Uh, if you if you don't understand the rules and regulations and and the things that are going on, so I'm excited to have this extremely wonderful guest that's going to come on and talk about uh, this particular issue. And I'm not going to give it away right now because Dr. Michelle Cooley will beat me up and tell him uh, and will tell me just like she always tells us. You already know that, that I have took her thunder. So, but one thing I want you to know: wherever you're watching this at. Was E360 television, transfer TV, YouTube, LinkedIn, for the over 45 other uh, live streaming platforms. Welcome to the show. If you want to be part of the conversation, all you have to do is just go to the platform that you are and you can ask this great guest that Michelle is getting ready to introduce to you any question that you might have or just join in on the conversation. How you doing, Dr. Cooley? How you doing today? Doing great. You know, I'm excited to have this guest on the show. Like uh, we were talking to him pre-show and he's actually the first guest who's ever discussed this topic. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've ever had a guest like this. And, you know, I don't know that much about it. Um, I'm not surprised, honestly, you know, people, fraudsters, tricksters, basic thieves will do anything to try to financially take advantage of people all through all walks of life. So we're really excited to have him here. And, um, you know, I, I, we're just excited to hear the, all the information he's going to provide us, educate us, and really have us thinking about additional things that we need to do in order to protect our homes. Wow. I tell you what, uh, you are talking about a topic, but you haven't told them what the topic is. Tell. So can, can you please uh, tell our viewers and our listeners that the title of the show, uh, the purpose of the show and introduce this absolutely wonderful guest. Well, yes. Well, today's title of the show is called Safeguarding Your Home Title Tips to Draw Real Estate Frosters. And we're having a conversation with title insurance expert Rich Simon. He's shedding light on signature scams like email hacking and wire fraud targeting real estate transactions and he's going to provide recommendations on thwarting hackers and scammers and talk about the company he has new home national title so let's talk a little bit about today's guest so rich simon with the wealth of experience and an innovative approach rich simon has positioned new home national title as a fortress against fraud in real estate transactions his proactive measures and client-centric approach ensure a secure and seamless property transaction experience amidst a landscape where home title theft is on a rampant rise. His insights are not merely a beacon of hope, but a tangible solution to the menacing shadow of real estate fraud. So please welcome to our show, Rich Simon. Welcome to the show, Rich. How are you doing? How are you doing, man? Rich, can you hear me? Okay. Michelle, I don't think Rich can hear us. Uh, Rich, uh, I think you're on mute or we can't hear you. <laughs> uh, what, why don't That's you tell okay. him we can't hear him? He's on mute. Oh, he knows me. I think he knows we can't hear him. And uh, let's see. You and know, he's, he's, well, he should be uh, coming in shortly, but right now we can't hear him. Uh, but uh, title fraud is yes. so uh, up on the rise right now. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of us don't know anything about it because we don't look into it. Uh, but um, if you own a home, it's like I mentioned earlier, this is one of the things that you need to understand because with the uh, development of technology, and a lot of things, especially AI, I'm not saying AI got anything to do with this, mm -hmm. but a, a lot of other different types of things. Um, you know, it's easy for someone to pretend like they're you mm -hmm. and change uh, stuff over and just start using, utilizing your ID and everything about you 
and also sign away and borrow money against your title or sell your home. Exactly. And so uh, I know a lot of folks that has uh, experienced that problem, Michelle. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, most of the time they get it corrected, but uh, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars uh, of damage that they can't recover. You know, so uh, I can't wait to Rich do uh, get volume so he can talk about these things. Are you there yet, Rich? Can you hear us? I think he can hear us, but we can't hear him. But um, he is he's adjusting his volume uh, issues right now. And we will have that in-depth conversation. But for now, um, James, what do you know about title theft and title fraud? I'm not that um, I heard of it, but I really don't know the particulars about it. What do you know? I know is uh, for the last 20 years, it's been heavily on the rise. And mm -hmm. uh I had, uh, you know, the many properties that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we have had a couple of hits that related to that, but it was caught mm -hmm. because of, you know, having uh, title insurance uh, to protect. And what they do is uh, identify certain things, uh, signs uh, that you need to be paying attention to. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, just like I said, anybody can go and imitate you and you don't know who it is because uh, and the bankers or whoever is dealing with you, if they got all your personal information, uh, we, uh, uh, they, they, they are you. And the only way that uh, you would know about it, if you got somebody that's monitoring these things for you, just like your credit cards and mm -hmm. uh, just like our special alerts, it happens with your titles and other things as well. And so, uh, but uh, just like I said, the last 20 years has been majorly on the rise and caused a lot of hate and discontent, a lot of pain. Uh, when, if we understood some of the signs and some of the causes of this, uh, we'd be able to recognize uh, how to prevent it. And, and I tell you, tight insurance is not really that expensive. I mean, at least uh, most cases it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, what the companies would do, what I know of, they would go back and they would look at all your stuff. They would do a background and they they just uh, come up with certain things, certain signs and identify these things to you, uh, particularly what, what type of area that you're in, how often this occur in those particular areas, those particular states or those, I mean, municipals. And so uh, it's important and they are your eyes when it comes to uh, preventing tight insurance. But well, you know, you know, um, we have we have some comments from Vassell McQueen, and um, these are the questions we definitely will address with Rich Simon. One of the questions: Can't we check with a city clerk to ensure our homes have not been tampered with? Their lawyer said that the fraudsters normally go after folks whose homes are paid off. And she all, and they also added, anyone can get a quick claim deed and pretend they're the homeowner. So these are questions for the expert to tell today's show. But do you know anything about this, James? Before we, um, before um, Rich's um, audio comes back on. Well, she she's right. You ha you have the city clerk, and mm -hmm. and people are always searching that this happens daily until uh, hundreds and hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. uh, searching through the titles uh, or who own these properties. Just like we always get uh, these calls and, and these ladders where people want to buy your property. They already went back and did the research. They know it, how, how much you owe on your property. They know all of these things uh, about you. And it's just public record is what I'm trying to say. And so if they got your information, they can go out and pretend that they are you Yes. And no one will know until they got their driving license. They got this and they got that. Uh, right now, it's, uh, you can generate a picture uh, of someone. I mean, so um, this is, she's right. She's absolutely right. And they can get a quick claim deed. A quick claim deed, which it, it tells uh, them that they are the owner of uh, what it pretends like that they are. And they can utilize this 
to borrow money. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they can utilize this to buy certain things because the equity that you might have in your house or whatever that is, they are claiming ownership of that. And it's just a major, major problem. It's a major problem in society. And it's something that um, we don't talk about that much. But I believe that uh, with uh, Rich Simon today, he's going to explain a lot of those things uh, because his company is uh, nationwide and and he's doing this all over the United States. And so it's not just certain states uh, that uh, is vulnerable for this. Any state could be vulnerable for it. Any homeowner could be vulnerable for it. So uh, that's why I'm excited when he come on the line to talk about this. Oh, yeah. You know, um, there's a lot, you know, being a homeowner that maybe homeowners don't know about. You know, you, you buy your house, you see a house you want, you buy it, you know, you, you're excited, but there's just so much more to it into protecting your property, basically protecting the legacy if this is the, if, if this is basically your forever home. And it just, um, it just saddens me that there are people out there who, who would do such a thing. I mean, my, my philosophy is, go out, you know, to go and get and, and, you know, achieve what you want to achieve through honest, honest, hard work instead of taking advantage and exploiting and basically robbing other people of the hard work that they put in. And you're taking the easy way out and just doing it, you know, in a deception, in a deceptive way. So that really, that makes me, that, that makes me angry and makes me just like, wow, you know, where's your conscience when you do these things? Well, but most people, most people do not have conscience. I, I'm not saying most, but uh, many people in the world do not have conscience and they'll do anything uh, to try to get ahead at whether it's hurting people, to, deceiving folks, et cetera. I'll tell you what, we're going to take a station break. Mm -hmm. But when we come back, I promise you, we're going to have Rich. And he's going to explain all of these great things to you. So if you want to be part of the conversation, regardless of which platform that you're on, all you have to do is just go to the comments, ask any question that you might have. I promise you, we'll get you an answer. It's your life. And we'll see you shortly after the break.
Hello, welcome back to your life. And I'm, I'm your host, Dr. James J.C. Cooley. Uh, we got my man, Rich Simon, here. And you know uh, what we were talking about? And uh, Rich, I, I, I think you heard uh, some of the things that we talked about. about uh, yes, yes, I did. I was able to listen. First of all, I, I want the audience to get an opportunity to know who you are. Can you tell them who is Rich Simon, where you grew up at, what make Rich Rich? Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, um, first off, James, thank you so much for inviting me. You, you and your lovely wife, Michelle, has been great. They've been, you guys have been awesome. I uh, had a little, you know, a little uh, time of me getting here, you know, so I do apologize for y'all. Uh, and thank you guys for waiting on me. But uh, Rich Simon, I'm a, a nationwide title company owner, uh, uh, the first black nationwide title company owner, may I add. And I'm doing a lot of great things in that space. Um, we were, we're licensed in all 50 states. We could do title services throughout the country. I have offices here in Orlando, Florida, um, also in Colorado and Arizona, and we're growing exponentially. So doing some uh, some really good things in that space, and we'll get into that a little bit more. Um, just to give you a little background on myself, um, I was born and raised in Miami, Florida. I went to you know uh, school there, college there. Um, when I first got out of um, you know college, my undergrad, uh, I had an attorney friend of mine who, um, you know, who taught me title from beginning to end. He probably he promised me a job as soon as I got out. And then that's how I learned title. And um, I what I did was I was able to to run these uh, these title companies for him um, and and grow and learn. Because, you know, when you when you're coming up, you nobody ever teaches you about, you know, these things. And um, this is one of those kind of niche little um you know, markets or uh, professions where it's not widely advertised in school. You don't hear about it. So I fell into it. You know, I, I, I love it. I have a passion, a passion for it. Um, and I've uh, been doing doing a title for about 20 some odd years now. And um, it's just something that I really, really love a lot. Uh, but uh, prior to that, too, uh, just to kind of give you a little bit more so you can kind of see the overall man, you know, um, I did some music. I grew up, first off, I grew up with Philip Michael Thomas from Miami Vice. I know you guys remember them, you know, Tubbs and Crockett and Miami Vice with the shades and the fast cars. So I, I was I was privy to be on the on the on the set when a lot of you know up and coming actors were were you know coming through there, you know, like Samuel Jackson and Chris Rock and others. So I was I was exposed to that real early. And um, that kind of pushed me towards um, some of the um, things that I do as far as acting and singing. And Philip was very instrumental in helping me. Um, he had a, a theater that was called Miami Way Theater in North Miami. And um, he would premiere a lot of uh, films, like he did Meteor Man, Robert Townsend came through there. A lot of other um, uh, plays were presented there. So I was engulfed in all of this arts and entertainment and seeing it at that high level, it pushed me towards that. Um, I learned how to sing with my my grandmother on her knee at church, you know. Um, so my voice, um, I had a friend of mine, how I initially met Philip was I had a friend of mine. It was a girl that she uh, she liked me or whatever, whatever. And she says, I, I got this thing, a talent show, and I want you to kind of check it out. So I went there and um, I was singing on stage. And lo and behold, Philip was up in the rafters and he heard me singing. He said, you know, you're going to be my Frankie Lyman, Ricky Simon. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, great. I like that. See, it, it, it matches Frankie Lyman, Ricky Simon, you know? So um, he took me underneath his wing and I mean, at his theater, you know, like I said, I, I was able to, you know, to go on the set with him, but just being at his theater, I saw so many great people and it inspired me uh, and pushed me. Um, and it gave me a lot of, um, you know, reality as far as, you know, mindset, you know, what it takes to, to make it and to be successful. And Philip was instrumental in that and helping me out a lot. Um, he also facilitated me uh, getting my first record deal with Sony Records right out of high school. I lived in California. I, I did some commercials. I did some major motion pictures. One, one is called Only the Strong, which is a capoeira movie. Um, the star of that is Mark Dukakis. He was the last, he was in the, the John Wick movie the third one, the Asian guy, and he was, he's also the Iron Chef. So he's the star of that. And then also um, I did a film called um, The Substitute, 
with Tom Berenger. I mean, you know, everybody knows Tom Berenger. Ernie Hudson was in that and also Mark Anthony, the Latin singer. So, you know, I got an opportunity to do that. Um, when I had my album out, I know I'm, I'm, I'm a mile a minute, sorry. <laughs> um, but um, when my music was out, I had an opportunity to, to, to go abroad and to, to sing in like France and Japan and all these places that, you know, that you kind of dream about as a kid, you know, so I was able to do that. And um, that just, you know, all of these experiences just, just make the overall person of, of me, Rich Simon, you know, so. And, and all of these experiences, uh, it, it creates the platform, the foundation yes. Yes, of sir. who you are today. And a lot of yeah. people don't understand it takes a lot of different experiences to, I believe, to really figure out who you are. Exactly. And what, and what your purpose is. Yeah. And that, and and like I said, those things shaped me, you know, and I was I was glad that one that I had the mindset to do it, you know, because I could have been doing other stuff and you know, when you're, you know, you're young, you know, you get into all different things, but the mindset and that helped to shape me who I am today. And I, you know, I thank God for those, you know, those mentors, let me say, and those experiences, you know, to help me to be able to, to push forward because I saw, you know, excellence, you know, within all of these different people that I, you know, just previously named and they helped to make me who I am today. You know, a couple of folks that we talked about, and Samuel L. Jackson is from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, yes, you were not not too far from, from us. So I mean, all all of those types of things. Also, you Usher. mentioned that earlier. Yes, uh, but you know, but the, the mo most important thing is uh, is defining out who you are. Yes, sir. who you are. I mean, yes, right. And, and, and uh, I tell you what, Rich, can you tell us when did you know? Uh, that uh, the title of the show, what we're going to talk about, safeguarding your type, your yeah. home title. When did you know that that was your niche? That, mm, that that's this, what all of these mean. other things that I have done. Yeah, which is great, but this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. So what what made me really think about that and and get into it the way that you just explained it is because no, I, I didn't see any representation of us there. You know. And then also, too, I really fell in love with it. I once I learned it, I understood it and I said, hey, you know, this is something that I can grab on to and um, really make it great. You know, um, I learned about it. I went from beginning to end. And like I said earlier, when we had spoke, you know, had an attorney friend of mine, he actually helped with all of my recording contracts as a close family friend. Um, he taught me title from A to Z when I got out of uh, school, you know, got out, got out of, uh, you know, college and I found a love for it. It was something that was never, that never been done before, you know, something I never knew about, you know, nobody teaches you about title insurance. And, um, I said, this is my life's passion. This is my life's work. It's on the, it's on the positive spectrum of life. You know, um, I, you know, when I, I when I went to school, I was doing, you know, like paralegal studies and, and legal and things like that. I, I thought that was going to be my my track, but once I found title, I liked it, you know, and I fell in love with it. And I said, you know, I'm going to really do some, you know, some phenomenal things in this space, you know. Well, you know, uh, can you tell our, our viewers and our listeners uh -huh. uh, why it's important to have title uh, okay. insurance? And can you just give them some stats on what's been happening over the last twenty years? Yes, and how people have lost or I wouldn't say lose. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you recover, but exactly but the cost in recovering oh, just yeah. because we have lack of understanding. Yes. Be so painful. So can you explain that to our viewers and our listeners? Uh, okay. first of all, what is title, home title insurance? Okay. Secondly, why it's so important that we need to have an understanding of this and that we if you're a homeowner that you might want to consider really consider getting it. Absolutely. So what title insurance is, you know, title insurance protects you from, you know, all those who have owned your property before you have owned it. We as title professionals, we look at all of that. Our major job is to clear up any issues. If there's judgment, liens, you know, airship, all of these things, we clear it up before you as an, as an owner, you know, as, as you as a buyer, before you take ownership. You don't want to inherit any of the problems that has have preceded you as an owner. 
So what we do is we clear all those things up. We have a commitment that we follow. We know exactly what's, what has happened since the beginning or inception of that title. And what we do is when it's in you as a buyer and the seller that you're, you know, you're purchasing the home from, we make sure that you don't inherit any other problem. So what that means is if they have any encumbrances, liens, judgments or whatever, we clear those things. And what we do to 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 make sure that it's it's clear and that we're giving you what we what we call marketable title, because that's what you want. And a clear title is that we ensure that on your behalf. And what that means is we ensure for anything that may crop up that we may have missed because there's human error there. You know, we are human. So we're heir to, you know, you know, we're heir to, you know, to make mistakes. So that title insurance policy is there to protect you for anything that may arise. If there was a judgment missed, if there is a if there is a um, an airship um, problem, like, say, for instance, there were, you know, uh, a death has occurred and they went through probate and they couldn't find a, a certain heir. If that person crops up and say, hey, this house was bought, but they didn't find me. I'm owed twenty thousand dollars. You know. That, that policy will kick in and protect you from any of those things. So that's the most important thing about having title insurance. You know, this is not something that you hear about. You know, um, title insurance, I like to always give the example, you know, car insurance is for future events, you know, just in case something happens or may occur, of course, you know, because as, as, as I said earlier, humans are, are we're prone to, to, to get into accidents and things of that nature. Title insurance protects you from everything that has occurred before you've taken ownership of that property. And that is the key thing. That title is the most important thing that that shows that you have owner. No one can come and take your property and no one can, you know, you know, um, you know, can can come against you. That's your your proof. That deed that we that we record on your behalf, that's saying that you own that property, that piece of land or that parcel. You know, in, in, in many cases, uh, when you buy a house. Yes. Uh, a lot of people want to try to bypass that. Yes, they, uh, they do. No, no I'm, I'm serious. They want to try to. I, I'm going to say that 500 bucks. No. I mean, no. And no. bypass that. Yeah. And just what you just said. Um, In reality, they don't really don't own. The home. They don't. They don't. Uh, and, yeah. Um, because the person that was selling it technically still owns that or someone else uh power of attorney uh, what uh, probate or whatever that might mean uh and so it's the, I, I believe and i have done this many many times so I, yes i do understand yes uh, what this means, but uh many do not right can, can you tell them why it's so important to i mean just consider think about all of these things and don't rush into uh, just trying to close a deal without crossing all the, the T's okay. and, and dotting all the I's. And yeah, the, the, yeah, happens that, all the time. Already. Yeah, already. yeah, I know. I see. I see horror stories. You know, so you want to have that title insurance in place. You want to have a title insurance professional. You know, look at your title because just like how you said, you know, you know, people can can they can fake and impersonate a seller. You understand? They can say, oh, yeah, we're the owner. If, if you don't have a, a professional there, a title professional there to really vet that person, to see who they really are, to go to the go through the necessary steps to to validate who this person is, they, you, you could be buying a, a piece of property. That seller who that, and that, that person that's in, impersonating that seller can take your money and they're. You know, so that's what we do. We vet these people. You know, that's how you protect yourselves. And that's what's on the rise right now is a lot of what you call seller impersonation. You know, um, I just did a I had a, um, a file, a transaction in my Arizona office. And I'm going to give you an example. This I this tell, person. I, I tell you what, Rich. Yeah. The whole, OK, we, we got to take a station break. OK, that we'll, sounds we'll good. Go, and we're going to go back to the Arizona office as soon as we get back here. So sounds I, good. If. Wherever you're watching this at, if you want to be part of the conversation, just go to the comments. Ask this man any question that you might have. If okay. you're a homeowner, consider this. I mean, you might really want to ask him the questions that you've been afraid to ask. That's right. Rich is getting ready to give you free advice yeah. if you come on and ask him right now. So I tell you what, we're going to take a station break, but we're going to come back and we're going to really dive off into this. Remember, it's your life. And we'll see you shortly after the break. 
Thanks. Noah Dingley here, producer of The James Cooley Show, It's Your Life. And the new audio version of James' book, Country Boy, City Boy, A Journey That Ain't Over Yet, is a must-have. James shares his true life story of struggle and success in America. It's both a cautionary tale and a roadmap to achieving the American dream. Get the new audio version of Country Boy, City Boy, A Journey That Ain't Over Yet by James Cooley on Amazon.com or wherever audio books are sold. James J.C. Cooley from the United States of America and I am here to just say first of all I'm so happy and honored to be on it to be in the Coffee Book 2023 Unified Brain Z and the other organizations thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to uh, be a part of this collection Hello, welcome back to James Cooley Show. It's your life, and I got my absolutely wonderful guest here, Riz Simon, who's really laying it down and educating us, and we're getting ready to dive even deeper into this conversation. But first of all, yes. I, I got to say, uh, Andre, I see you out there. How you doing? How you doing? Yes. I see you out there. Um, we we got a lot of people that's watching and listening to this, but the, the, the problem, Rich, is they ain't asking any questions. Right. I mean, they haven't popped in. Now, Veronica, yes, I Veronica asked some question, but they yeah. haven't in and, and asked any questions. And so, this is your opportunity. Mm. This man right here is one of the best in the business. The business. If you got any question, you might want to ask him. Also, I would like to thank my producers. And I would like to thank uh, uh, my guys that are doing this. Uh, we are being seen in 181 countries ac across the, the world. And, and uh, uh, on the YouTube channel alone, we just went over 27,000 subscribers. Love it. Love thank it. you. Thank you. Thank all of you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you know, that's not enough. That's right. It ain't enough. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I want to say uh, thanks. Uh, Twenty-seven thousand—that's uh, uh, that's a lot, and we're gonna continue to grow because uh, we have great guests like but we got Rich here. That's uh, going to continue to educate us, and we're gonna continue to bring uh, these type, this quality of guests on um, to educate us. No, Rich, I want to get back. Yeah. To uh, title fraud. Yes. Why it's important. Uh, to have this, and you were talking about your Arizona office, uh, and can can you bring us back a little bit so people that just popping in, just listening to this, uh, that they get the uh, just what you say? Okay, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm explain exactly what you know title or deed transfer fraud is. So what title of deed uh, fraud is is when like a fraudster they file a new title or deed within the county. 
assigning the property to themselves for the purpose of selling the property quickly and escaping with the proceeds. You understand? So that's that's what these these fraudsters do. They're trying to get to that money quickly. You understand? They go in and they, they impersonate and they move quickly. You know, now your red flags are like your rental properties, you know, abandoned properties. Um, I just saw someone just pop in. Normally those homes that they don't have mortgages, uh, Von Seal McQueen, she just popped in, you know, those, those homes that are paid off, those are the ones that are most vulnerable for this type of attack by these sellers, you know? So rental properties, abandoned properties are most are the most risk for this type of fraud, you know, since the real owner is not on site and they, they may be unaware of the fraud that's going on, you know? So um, case in point, in our Arizona office, we had a, uh, a, a, a real estate transaction like this. My escrow officer had received the contract. We had, the, we had a, a buyer. We knew who that buyer was, the seller. Um, my escrow officer spoke to the guy every day. Now, this person, um, we also got that contract from a real estate professional, which was a listing agent. But she didn't do her due diligence. She didn't find out who that person was. So we thought that she had already vetted the person and met with them, per, you know, physically. She never did. She did everything online, which a lot of people are doing now, right? We got DocuSign and things of that nature. And with the onset of uh, the internet, people are not meeting face to face um, a lot, especially since now, now has COVID, you know, COVID has kind of happened. People are a little bit more leery, you know, and a lot of these frosts were taking advantage during that time. But uh, in this particular one, not, not to get off on a tangent again, but um, but the, this particular seller was able to finagle his way and speak to my escrow officer, you know, send us information, fill out all the necessary documentation, all of all the while impersonating the seller. This guy was not the seller. This guy's name was Muhammad. He's from another country. And what happened was we did the transaction, the buyer, we, we did it as a normal transaction, like we always do with every real estate transaction. My escrow officer was none the wiser. She did everything. She did all the checks and balances. But we can't, once we completed the transaction the, the, and we, we recorded it, the actual owner reached out to us. So what we had to do was at that point, immediately we had to get, you know, um, the powers that be in, in, into into play, and we're we're um, we're cut, we're in a, we're in litigation because we didn't know anything about it. We sent the funds to this guy, which was a, which was a, a fraudster account. You know, he had a, an actual account, and they use a lesser bank, which means like your credit union, or not not like one of your big Bank of America, which they have these kind of you know these uh, these precautionary measures in place. They use like a credit union. So we sent those funds to them and we were able to, you know, to get in contact with that bank. Once we found out that the person was a fraudster, you know, they were, he was able to move the money, some monies he couldn't because they were moving it from a, into another country. You understand? So we were able to recoup some of the funds, you know, for that buyer. But this is what 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 kind of happens, you know? So it's it's a uh, it's 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 happening a lot and it's it's uh it's spreading like wildfire. And you got to have those professionals in place, even with us. You know, we, we have we have insurance to cover. You know, we have our e &O insurance to cover. We did all of our checks and balances and it got it got past us. So now we have even more stuff more in place. now. You know, if this is something that can happen. You know, for sure. But, you know, Rich, besides, yeah. you know, I hear that I hear that unfortunate um, experience, but this can not only hurt the actual owner of the house, but also the the company, the title company, company. and the real estate company that participates unwillingly. We're all exposed. In the transaction. So there's not only, you know, um, um, heartache and, you know, forgery and theft to the actual owner of the house, but also reputational risks for the company um, that, you know, unwillingly, um, you know, participated in this. So yes. I, yes. I hear what you're saying about, um, wow, it, this is just amazing. So 
what recourse does the actual owner of the house um, get? So their house is sold, the proceeds have gone to a fraudulent account, you know, a credit union. Do they have to vacate their home? No, they don't. So what what happens is since since, you know, you know, with us, we have our E&O insurance. So what will happen is that we issued a title policy. So what will happen is that title insurance will make that person whole. You understand? And then and what will happen also, too, is that the seller, you remember that that seller that didn't know about it, we have to we um, the courts will go ahead and decide to make him owner again. And they do it by what you call a quiet title suit. Now, that purchaser that sent their their hard earned money for that transaction, the title insurance policy will then therefore make them whole. You understand? So in this case, it was a piece of land, you know, just like I said before, absentee owner, there's no one actually there, you know, um, it was about, it was about 30,000. So the insurance policy, that title insurance policy that we issued would make that person whole. So he'll get his $30,000 back. You understand? Because we got that title insurance policy in place. And then that seller who, who unwittingly know, didn't know that the property was sold, the course will go ahead and do a quiet title suit and he will regain ownership of his property. You understand? Yeah. And then what, what happened is we, the, um, the FBI has opened up a, you know, will open up a suit and they will, they will follow the breadcrumbs as they say, and they'll figure out where that Remember, money is it money leads a lot of, you know, footprints in the sand. So they'll, they'll catch up with this guy, you know, whoever, um, wherever he is, you know, I'll tell you what we got. Take another station break. Yes, sir. But this is such great information. And when we come back, when we come back, we're gonna talk a little bit more about this, and and then I'm gonna ask the uh, questions I normally don't ask. How much does this cost? Yes, indeed. Uh, and, and, and the seven. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so if you want to be part of the conversation, all you have to do. You just go to the platform that you are watching this on and listen to it. Ask this great guest any question that you might have. I promise you, we'll get you an answer. Yes, yes. your life, and we'll see you shortly after the break.
welcome back to the James Cooley show. It's, it's your life, and I say, it's your life. That's because right. The decisions that we make, the things that we do, affect us in our life, and affect the people that are around us. And um, I encourage everybody to be a homeowner if you can. Uh, and also, I encourage everyone, if you are a homeowner or you buying, uh, to listen to what this great guest is saying. Uh, it's like, oh, well, it's just a still pitch. It's just, you know. yeah. uh, and this guy right here can help you out when it comes to purchasing a home if it when it comes to already having your home or when it comes to securing the things that most people want is their home that's your most valuable i believe access in life that's true we all want to be homeowners but we have to protect it <laughs> protect <laughs> it but protect it Yes, and indeed. <laughs> I did not mean to get all excited about it, but uh, yes, but that's the truth. <laughs> yes. So, uh, what, what, uh, uh, speaking of that, uh, uh, before we go off into a couple of questions, uh, mm -hmm. uh the the young lady, Miss McQueen. Yes, is, she has some good ones. What were your lessons learned uh, from what you are, are doing and teaching? that you want everybody else to understand so brother rich i'm turning that over to you okay so yeah what 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 we learned is that <clears throat> you know you just got to be very vigilant when it comes to this you know it's a very like how we said you know, we, and we keep reiterating it it's um you know this is a huge asset you know and you want to protect your home and you want to make sure that you have the things in place to protect your home so tile insurance affords you that so that if there's anything that may happen, you know, that um, you're protected. Now, what we learned when we dealt with this individual is that we have to put more security measures in place. And we've done that, you know, it only takes one time, you know, for that situation to happen. And we were able to understand it, you know? Um, that's another good question, Ms. Monsillo. She says that any, anyone can, can get a quick claim deed and pretend they're the homeowner. To, an, to a certain extent, they can use a quick claim deed to do that. But just like with us as title insurance professionals, you want to go to the right person to be able to prepare that quick claim deed um, and to protect you from that. Now, what we also do um, as a title company is we offer a service where we can do a title search to make sure that no one has put any instruments after your deed without your knowledge. And you can reach out to your, your local title company, reach out to myself. And the title search, it costs about a couple of hundred dollars, two or three hundred dollars, um, just to make sure that no one is, you know, taking ownership of your property. And even for less, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of going off on a tangent, you know, but um, yeah, you want to have that because it's it's important that two hundred dollars that you spend, excuse me, it gives you peace of mind so that you know that your your title is secure. Um, and title insurance is really based on the purchase price um, and we're what, you, we're what you call promulgated by the state. So we can't go over a price or under it. The state regulates us and it's on the purchase price. So it was 300,000. That title insurance is set at that amount and we can't go over it. You know, so. But yeah, we've learned a lot and I've been doing this business for 20 years. You can see my gray hairs, you know. <laughs> I just got a little baby face, but I've been going through it. You know, we, we learn a lot. We go through it. And I'm, the major thing is that you have somebody that you can trust um, and as an ally and to be able to help you, you know. So, so, so Rich, uh, what's the first thing that people that are listening to this uh, right now and the light, the light bulb have come up for me because the light bulb come up sometimes. Yes. What's the first thing that you recommend? Uh, even with uh, homeowners that I mean that own their house, yes, not just buy in, right? Uh, but own their home right now, especially a right. uh, homeowner that do not own, do not own anything on their house, right? What would you recommend that they do to make sure that their house is safe? Just do it, yeah, just like how I said earlier, do a title share.
search, reach out to, you know, a, you know, a title professional like myself. And if you you've had your property for a long time and your house is paid off and you haven't checked your title, reach out to, you know, someone like myself, we can do a title search for you. And I said, it's, you know, it's a couple of hundred dollars to do, but that couple of hundred dollars will give you peace of mind, you know, so that you know that no one has come in and done anything. And also what we do is we just don't do it. We just don't stop at the title stuff, but also if there's any liens or anything that may have popped up on your title, if it's a, you know, a lot of times people don't know that there's tax liens on their home or, you know, uh, creditors who may have added stuff. It's just so that you have a, a running history of what has occurred on your property since you, you know, you've paid it off and it's been clean, you know? So I would suggest doing that. The couple of hundred dollars that you spend will give you peace of mind. Okay. So Rich, let me, let me put you on the spot a little bit. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. I'm ready. So a couple of hundred, ha, 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 I'm telling everybody to reach out to Rich. Yes. How, yeah, can, they reach out to you? How can they reach out to you? How okay. Can they say, Hey, I want to invest that couple of hundred dollars. Uh, uh, into this, so tell our viewers and our listeners how to. Do yeah, that. so you can reach out to me. Um, uh, my 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 direct phone number is uh 407 779 8231. 407 779 8231. My email address is richard dot simon s i m o n at new home title usa dot com. Okay, and then um. You can look up my my uh, my website is www.newhomenationaltitle.com as well. Reach out to me. I will definitely help you and get you the comprehensive report that you need so that you're in the know. Rich, can you put that in? in, in yes, in, I'll put it on the side as well. Yes. So that, so we that I can shoot it out there. And yeah. Uh, one other thing, Rich. So uh, what did that cost uh, for them just inquiring, reaching out and you doing a book check? Yeah, so that, it's, a, it's like two hundred fifty dollars. That's it. Well, hey, Rich, tell that. <laughs> if they use uh, it's your life, uh, can, can you give them a ten percent discount? I will definitely do that. I, 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 I'm just asking because I'm going to be your first client. That's right. <laughs> two, I, you, don't don't even matter. We'll knock it down to two. You know, <laughs> it's just it's just for our title examiner because they do a really good comprehensive report. No, no, I want people. Uh, my my point is this: I I know how important this is. Yes, it's very and important. I, I want them to know how important this is. Yeah. Uh, that uh, that they uh, reach out and get this information yeah. because uh, it's it doesn't take a whole lot to to lose ten, fifteen, hundred, two hundred thousand dollars just because we lack understanding. That's correct, and then and this is going to protect you because you know your asset. You know, your house, if it's a hundred thousand or if it's a million, you know, you want to know what's going on with your property. It's just so important, you know, and sometimes we take it for granted because we like, oh, we're, we're OK. You know, you know, you never you never can assume, you know, you want to make sure that, you know. So, Rich, we're down to the last minute of the show. Uh, so okay. you already gave them the information. Can you give it to them one more time? Yes. OK, so it's it's um, newhomenationaltitle.com. Email address Richard dot simon at newhometitleusa.com and you can reach me 407-779-8231 okay that's my my number you can you can reach me there at any time and we we handle all states okay we're in we're in all 50 states rich i want to thank you so much for taking the time to come on the james cooley show it's your life you know what brother yes sir you invited back thank you so you, much you have time I'm yes. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm coming back for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know? so, I, 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 I like to thank uh, Rich for taking the time and his peeps. Uh, Michelle going to reach out to uh, yes. for getting this great guest on the show. I like to thank Dr. Michelle Cooley for putting together another absolutely fantastic show. Thank most you, Michelle. Most importantly, I like to thank you, our viewers and our listeners for tuning in to the James Cooley Show. It's your life. Always, always dream big. Thank you. Yeah. And be big at everything you do. We'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. Is your life. We'll see you then.